KLOA 8 News 5 at 10. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 10. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Elizabeth Watts. First tonight in our top story, the Air Force Academy responding to racial slurs written on the message boards of five African-American prep students. Now, it happened at the Air Force Academy's prep school, and tonight the Academy's taking action. News 5's Lena Howland live outside the campus tonight with more. Lena. Well, soon after this picture hit social media, it got national attention. And tonight, the Academy's leader is making it clear this behavior has no place in the school or in the Air Force. You should be outraged not only as an airman, but as a human being. A strong message coming from the Air Force Academy Superintendent Lieutenant General Jay Silveria after someone wrote these racial slurs on the whiteboards of five African American students. If you're outraged by those words, then you're in the right place. That kind of behavior has no place at the prep school, it has no place at USAFA and it has no place in the United States Air Force. News 5 found out about this after a parent of one of the cadet candidates posted it on Facebook saying, I'm angry that people are teaching their children such hate. These young people are supposed to bond and protect each other and the country. And top leadership is firing back, letting students know this will not be tolerated. This is our institution and no one can take away our values. No one can write on a board and question our values. No one can take that away from us. An issue, Silveria says, impacts everyone on campus. He says now more than ever, it's to be taken seriously after the unrest in Charlottesville and the NFL protests. We would also be tone deaf not to think about the backdrop of what's going on in our country. And he says the thousands that make up the academy and prep school can make a difference. The power that we come from all walks of life, that we come from all parts of this country, that we come from all races, we come from all backgrounds, gender, all makeup, all upbringing. The power of that diversity comes together and makes us that much more powerful. Warning that anyone who thinks the slurs are okay do not belong. If you can't treat someone with dignity and respect, then get out. And the prep school is made up of academy applicants who didn't receive an appointment but are allowed to undergo a 10 month program to get them ready for possible transition into the Air Force Academy. Now officials are investigating who's behind these racial slurs and deciding what disciplinary measures to take. Watching out for you in Colorado Springs, Lena Howland, News 5.